Hello everyone, this is Matthew once again, and I want to say Merry Christmas to you all, as today is Christmas Eve, and it is the most wonderful time of the year, so I thought it would be great to review a Christmas movie that I have never reviewed before, and that is, my friends, Home Alone, starring Macaulay Culkin, Joe Pesci, Daniel Stern, John Hearn, and Catherine O'Hara, music by John Williams, written and produced by John Hughes, and directed by Chris Columbus. You know John Hughes, the man who brought us 60 Candles, Breakfast Club, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and Chris Columbus, who directed the sequel, Home Alone 2, Mrs. Doubtfire, and Visions of Babysitting, and most notably, the first two Harry Potter movies. So by, before I give you my thoughts on the movie, here is the backstory. Originally for Chris Columbus, he was going to direct National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, another film that's written and produced by John Hughes. But unfortunately, there has been a conflict between both Columbus and Chevy Chase, so Columbus had to, to step off the project and go on to make Home Alone instead. And for Columbus, he met several child actors for the role of Kevin, but were not on top as Culkin's. So he was definitely right for the part. And for John Hughes, he wrote that part for Culkin since he worked with him on the set of Uncle Buck. Bruce Broughton was originally going to score the film, but he had to back off due to scheduling conflicts, and he had to do a Disney film that came out the same year as Home Alone, and that is The Rescuers Down Under. John Williams saw another cut of the film and was enchanted by it, so he got the job to work on the music, which I think is definitely for the better. Home Alone made its debut on November 16, 1990, as it opened to mixed the positive reviews by critics and was a box office set by grossing $285.7 million against its $18 million budget. The film was nominated for two Oscars for Best Original Score and Best Original Song, Summer Memory, but it lost to John Barry's score, Dance with Wolves, and sooner or later, I Always Get My Man, from the movie Dick Tracy. As of 2015, it still remains the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time, and remains popular with audiences. So, what can I say about Home Alone, folks? Everyone has fond memories of this movie, and hey, I know I have, because each time I watch this movie around Christmas, it just never feels dated. It just feels timeless. So, I really, really love this movie. I mean, I love Home Alone 2, but none of the sequels, which of course that includes Home Alone 3 and 4. I never saw Home Alone 5, so I never want to see that movie. They will never be as good as this one. This one is the one is probably the best to check this out on. I love Home Alone. I know I said that many times, but I really love Home Alone. I thought it's really well written by John Hughes. I thought it had a great sense of humor. The slapsticks were definitely a lot of fun to watch, especially seeing Joe Pesci, David Stern getting, you know, I'll take a lot of beating from Kevin when he sets a lot of traps. And I saw both Pesci and Stern both gave terrific performances. They really are Harry and Marv. They're like the best web bandits ever in the Home Alone franchise, or should I say the best burglars. And I thought the other actors, like John Hurt and Kevin Harrell, all did what they had to do, as well as Robert Blossom, may he rest in peace. And also, yeah, even John Hurt passed away as well, so may he rest in peace too as well. But also, the one actor who really stole the show is this kid, Macaulay Culkin. He really is the heart and soul of the movie, and he really is Kevin McAllister. You really, really relate to him, and you watch him as he goes, and it definitely has a nice charm to it. And Chris Columbus did a good job directing the movie. This is definitely one of his best films he's made. And, and it's probably my favorite of his he's directed. I mean, I like Home Alone 2 and the first two Harry Potter movies and Mrs. Stoutfire and Mr. Baby City. But I may have to say this one because, which is obvious, it's a movie I grew up with. It's a movie I watched many times as a kid and never get tired of it. And John Lee's music is amazing. It's beautiful. I love his music on Star Wars and Indiana Jones movies and Jurassic Park 1 and 2 as well as Jaws and Schindler's List. But this is definitely one of his greatest. He actually made a beautiful score. And it's only like an 103 minutes long and never feels boring. I never get tired of it. It just goes by at a very good pace and you are really getting infested with it. And definitely has a nice heartwarming message about Christmas. It really does. So, I can't say any more about it, but I will say, if you wonder who's the editor of this film, it's Roger Gosnell, who made Home Alone 3, which is a terrible movie. I think Roger Gosnell should go back to be as a film editor instead of being a director, because if you've seen his filmography like Home Alone 3 or the Scooby-Doo movies and the Smurfs movies, 
you know he's not making a good movie, but but I digress. So, but anyway, if you have seen Home Alone, then you already know what it is. And however, if you have not seen Home Alone, then check it out. It is definitely a timeless Christmas classic, and of course, it really does earn an A+. So, that's my review of Home Alone, and what do you think of this video? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. Feel free to put your comments down below, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, I really am excited for Christmas, and cannot wait for tomorrow. And I hope all you have a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.